Hey everyone, thanks for joining in. In this video, we'll be going over how to run a Celestial Light node, also referred to sometimes as a light client. And this is a tutorial that is geared towards beginners. So maybe someone with a computer, uh, but no development experience or with a little bit of development experience, or you're just looking to learn more. So first, what is a light client? We actually have some really useful resources on our website. And if you go to the glossary and to light client, uh, you'll find that a light client is a type of node that only downloads and verifies headers. And this relies on the honest majority assumption that the state of the chain indicated by the block header is valid. In short, what this allows us to do is have light clients that download and verify a very small amount of data instead of downloading and re-executing all of the transactions like a full node does. And what this allows us to do is have much cheaper and lower resource requirements for our hardware. So yeah, let's get to it. But the first thing we're gonna do is head over to the Celestia docs and you can get there by going to docs.celestia.org. And we're gonna to go to the run a node category. And in the quick start section, we'll see a guide on Docker setup. So this is where we want to be if you're following along, again, docs.celestia.org. And basically what Docker does is it allows us to run Celestia node in an isolated environment on our machine and this allows us to not have to worry about the dependencies that are on our machine or maybe messing up the environment that is on your computer already. So the easiest way is probably to use the website <clears throat> to install this. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and click Docker Desktop for Mac. I'm using an M2 chip on this computer, and I will need to download the Apple Silicon installation file. If you're using an older machine than an M1, you will probably have an Intel chip. Well, you, you will have an Intel chip. So I'm going to download this for Mac, and we can actually just keep an eye on that download. All right, so now that the download has finished. We're going to open up docker.dmg. And this is going to look like installing pretty much any other application that you may have installed before. So you're just going to need to drag and drop that. And depending on the type of machine that you're on, this might take a little bit more than 20 seconds or so. So feel free to pause the video if you need to wait on that and come back when it's done. Now we have Docker installed on this computer, and I'm going to go ahead and open up the Docker desktop app. Since this is the first time I'm opening it, it's going to, my computer is asking me if I am sure that I want to open this, and I am, so I'll click open. And what this is doing is starting up the Docker engine, and this allows us to run containers. And again, we're running a container, so we don't interfere with our local development environment or just local setup on our computer. So there's two ways to run the node. First would be the quick start. You can actually just copy this command here. This is for a light node on the block space race network. And if you go to your terminal, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So if we go in our terminal and put this command in, and if we hit enter, it's going to initialize a node store. It's going to create a key for us with a mnemonic. And it's going to start the node up. Now, the thing about this is that the node store has been created inside of the container. So we're going to see the node store for this 
node inside the container. The issue is that once we stop the container, we're going to need to, we're going to lose our keys and lose the data that has been synced. So the way around this, it actually got stuck. So I went ahead and paused it or canceled it. So to get around this, what we can do is we're going to do a few commands, but don't let it intimidate you too much. What we're doing is making a new folder, and then we're gonna run the same Docker command after that. So the first thing we can do is CD to home, and this just makes sure that we're in the right directory. Uh, if you're curious about what home is, you can do echo home, and I can see that's in my users folder and Josh Stein. So first we're gonna do make dear, make directory, my node store. Now what this does is it created a folder called my known node store in the home directory. Uh, and if I wanna see that, I can do ls to see that my node store is there. If I'm curious about what's inside of it, I can list what's inside of it, but there's nothing at the moment. So we're gonna clear off our screen again and get started with initializing the node. So now that we have the node store set up, this is going to allow us to keep our keys over time and reuse the same data that's been synced from the chain. So we're gonna copy and paste the first command to initialize the node store. And we are using the local node store and mounting it to the container that is using the image that we're running. This first command is just going to give us our keys. I would recommend not recording a video and posting it on the internet if you ever wanna use these keys for any real networks and save this somewhere safe. If you need, you can always export your keys, but having them mnemonic is always a good idea. The next thing we can do is start the node. And we can do that by copying the next command. It's basically gonna look mostly the same, except for we have a few extra flags at the end to allow us to post data to the network. Once I've done that, we're gonna see the logs that everyone has been posting on Twitter and memeing, and you have now set up your own Celestia Light node. Now, if you want to stop this, you can either use Docker to do so. I'm gonna delete these old containers that I don't need. So you can e either stop it in Docker, or you can do Control C, to stop the node. And if you want to start it again, you can just use the same command and it's going to sync back from your node store. So that's why we're not seeing the mnemonic show up anymore or the initialization because we've already done that. Yeah, that's how to run a Celestia Light node with Docker. And if you do run into something like this, it actually always doesn't hurt to just try to restart it. There we go. It is running and sampling. And we can see the logs here. This doesn't have any debugging mode on or anything. So we're just seeing headers. And right now, what we're doing is mostly sampling those headers. And we can see that we picked up from the last point that we left off up here around block 6000. You can also see the network that you're on and the node type and as well as your node ID, if you're really feeling froggy. So yeah, that's how to run a Celestial Light node for beginners. Thank you.